back today with Phantom of the Opera, the motion picture starring Robert England. I want to say this is what, 1989? Directed by Dwight H. Little, who we horror fans know from having directed Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. He's a man whom I've met at one of the Halloween conventions back in the day. This is another retelling of the Phantom of the Opera story, starring horror's iconic actor Robert England. So it's been a while since I've seen this film. I do like that cover art, though. It's pretty cool. It's kind of got little Freddy-ish stuff going on there, so you can tell. Even just through those eyes, you can tell who that is. Fun story I have about this one is several years ago when I was collecting film prints and film in general, film trailers, film reels, etc. I was at a, what do you call it? Not a thrift store, but an antique store in the West Bottoms of Kansas City. And there's a place that had a bunch of, bunch of old film equipment, film reels, uh, can storage, um, all that kind of stuff. And they had reels four and five of this version of Phantom of the Opera. And they're like $25 per reel. And I was like, nah. So I didn't do it. Then a couple months later, maybe even weeks later, I was on Craigslist looking around and somebody was selling, it said the full print of this film. And they just happened to be five minutes from my house over by my kid's school. And they're selling the film print for $75. And so I, was, I couldn't pass that up. So I drove over, went to go pick it up, paid the guy 75 bucks, but it ended up only being one shipping can of three reels of the film. I said... I asked him where he had got it. He said his dad had bought it at a, a antique store or something like that. He just thought it'd be cool to have, but then he ended up, you know, just sitting around. So the, he didn't know, so he thought it was a full feature. I told him that it was just reels one, two, and three, and that a full feature would be at least five reels for the most part. So then I had reels one, two, and three. And I was like, wow, that's interesting since I know where reels four and five are. So then I go back a couple weeks later to the antique store to get reels four and five, and only reel five was there. Somebody had just randomly bought reel four. So I didn't buy reel five. I just said, screw it. I ended up taking the print, the reels one, two, and three, and ended up reselling them for 125 That's my fun story. So you can see this is all rental, rental copy release from AL. Is that, is that Alabama or Alaska? I can never remember. Alabama, right? RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. I'm going to give this one a rewatch. Because if, if I've seen it, it's been so long I don't re recall anything. Even when I had that film print, I didn't end up running any reels of it. I just sat around. Phantom of the Opera, the motion picture. <laughs> 